Ukraine is pinning down a newly created Russian reserve force near Bakhmut and is confident the 15,000-strong unit will be destroyed, Ukraine's spy chief says. Kirillo Budinov told the war zone that Ukraine was pinning down Russian forces in Bakhmut to prevent them from being deployed to other axes where its counteroffensive is pushing forward. The Russians recently redeployed their only reserve force, the 25th Army, which was just recently raised and hasn't completed its creation, he said. Now it's redeployed to roughly the north of Bakhmut, and that's the place where it's going to be buried. The 25th Combined Arms Army was created this summer, in a rare move for the Russian military, which has rarely established new organizations throughout the conflict, the UK's Ministry of Defense said in August. The unit was suddenly deployed to the front lines, despite soldiers being told they would be sent to fight in December, the UK department said in an update earlier this month. Their rushed deployment was likely a sign that Russia continues to grapple with an overstretched force along the front, the update said. It is not clear when exactly the unit was deployed. While fighting continues to rage around the eastern city of Bakhmut, which Russia occupied in May, Ukraine's counteroffensive has been pushing forward in the Zaporizhia area in the south of the country. Alexander Tarnavsky, the Ukrainian general leading the counteroffensive on the country's southern front line, told CNN in a report published Saturday that his troops had broken near the city of Verbov in the southeastern Zaporizhia region and that they continued to advance further. Budinov said, the threat for Russians to lose Bakhmut makes them redeploy at all times additional and additional forces to the Bakhmut area, which of course drains their resources from other directions like the south. Four months into its counteroffensive, Ukrainian forces are making progress on the southern front after breaking through in Verbov earlier this week, as shown by the latest maps shared by the Institute for the Studies of War ISW. Verbov is a village in the Zaporizhia Oblast, a few miles east of Robotyne, which was captured by Ukrainian troops on August 28. It is on the path towards Tokhmik, which Ukrainian General Alexander Tarnavsky, who is leading Kyiv's troops on the southern front line, described to CNN as, the minimum goal, of the country's campaign. In its latest update on the situation on the front line, the ISW confirmed that Ukrainian troops, have broken through Russian field fortifications west of Verbov, though it specifies that these are not the final defensive line in Russia's defense in depth in western Zaporizhia Oblast. Commercial satellite images back Tarnavsky's statement, showing that Ukrainian forces have brought heavy equipment closer to Verbov in the past few days, according to the ISW. The Washington, D.C.-based think tank, which has been following the unfolding conflict in Ukraine since the beginning of the Russian invasion on February 22, 2022, said that Kyiv troops are deepening their presence in the Zaporizhia region, but that the rate of their advance near Verbov remains unclear. According to the ISW, Moscow's troops still control parts of the long trench line between Robotyne and Verbov, where Ukrainian infantry are slowly and systematically fighting through Russian fighting positions. The think tank confirmed that the Kremlin's forces have more field fortifications beyond Verbov. The ISW continues to assess that the Russian military does not have sufficient forces deployed to this sector of the front to completely man its defenses in depth and that Ukrainian forces should be able to operate through Russian field fortifications more rapidly if they are not properly manned, the think tank wrote. Newsweek has contacted Ukraine's defense ministry for comment via email. The institute confirmed Ukraine has made progress this week and said it has likely destroyed the Russian 810th Naval Infantry Brigade, part of the Black Sea Fleet, in western Zaporizhia. The simultaneous counter-offensives in Bakhmut in the east of the country and southern Ukraine are weakening Russian troops and preventing Moscow from replenishing its numbers, according to the think tank, as Russia redeploys its new reserves to defend against Ukrainian advances. Tarnavsky said that the Ukrainian counter-offensive will continue in the winter. We have one goal, liberation of our territories, he said. However hard it is we will keep on working. And I want to thank even the skeptics, their criticism also influences our task's success. Ukraine has likely destroyed a Russian naval infantry brigade of the Black Sea Fleet for the second time, a think tank said. Ukraine's spy chief, Kirillo Budinov, 
said that the Russian 810th Naval Infantry Brigade had withdrawn after being defeated amid Ukraine's counteroffensive. That brigade was completely defeated, completely smashed, and now they have withdrawn, being replaced by airborne troops, Budinov said in an interview with the War Zone. The Institute for the Study of War, a Washington, D.C.-based think tank, said that Budinov's description corresponds to the U.S. military's definition of a mission to destroy, which means to render an enemy force, combat ineffective until it is reconstituted. The brigade, which is based in Sevastopol, Crimea, was destroyed by Ukraine once before in April 2022, when the Ukrainian army reported that 158 soldiers had been killed and about 500 wounded, the think tank noted. The losses included their commander, Colonel Alexei Sharov, Russian media reported at the time. The deputy chief of Ukraine's GER military intelligence service, Major General Vadim Skibitsky, claimed in July 2022 that about 200 Marines of the 810th Brigade had refused to return to war. Two months later, the Ukrainian army reported that the brigade had lost more than 85% of its personnel fighting in the Kherson region, and that many again had refused to return to combat, for the ISW's updates. The 810th Brigade had since been reconstituted by the Russian military, and the ISW observed elements of it in the Zaporizhia region this year. A full-strength Russian brigade has at least 2,000 soldiers. The heavy losses suffered by this brigade are emblematic of the wider issues faced by the Russian military, which has been suffering from extreme attrition and high turnover, the UK Ministry of Defence said on Saturday. While Russia has suffered a high number of casualties during the conflict, according to Western estimates, it also has a large population from which to continue to recruit and conscript soldiers. The General Staff of Ukraine's Armed Forces reported on September 24 that Russia had lost 275,850 troops in Ukraine since the beginning of its full-scale invasion on February 24 last year. This number includes 390 casualties Russian forces suffered just over the past day, the General Staff said.